Hello, so I just want to show this little quick video to you guys about these batteries right here for Zcam or just the MP. I guess you could work on anything with the MPF battery, more or less, it's going to work just fine. Um, what I found with these is really cool is that one, um, they are a, let's see, my light here, they are a 7,800 milliamp battery, 57.7 watts. <clears throat> so it's pretty big, pretty good. Um, on these guys, you have a USB power on the bottom. So you can plug in as my tripod loses its mind. So you can plug in USB devices uh, to the bottom. But what's unique and I like about this, it doesn't have the stupid DC jack on top. Uh, on top, it has power inputs <clears throat> for both micro uh, USB and USB type C and also what's neat about these this guy here um, if I can get this, I'm just gonna leave it open on the back of it you got this great um, self-lighting LCD that tells you the voltage and where the battery's at and all that I wish it gave life but that's asking probably too much so what I do normally on my setup <clears throat> is I put the battery on the camera Sorry for my voice for some reason. I'm clearing my throat a lot. I apologize for that. That's annoying anyone. You put the battery right on back. Uh, notice how easy that was one-handed. It's a running joke with these cameras. People keep complaining about how hard to put the battery on. I don't think it's that hard. Uh, I have a Nucleus M here. I take my USB power. I plug it into the bottom the correct way. Boom. The Nucleus turns on. That's an interesting screen I've never seen before. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> there we go. It did something weird the first time. I'm going to ignore that. It powers on and it stays on. Unlike all the other devices, uh, as far as powering the camera goes, um, that you turn the camera on and this battery will actually stay on and continue to power the Nucleus Nano here. Um, it just is good. It doesn't have that issue. So secondary to that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Um, back here, although it's unplugged, not that it matters that much. I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna to get to my point here in a second. I promise. Um, it's dead apparently. Go figure. Um, so right now, the benefit is that this has these inputs on top. If you look down here, out of the way. You can see that it says USB power out, right? So you can charge this battery, however, from the top ports. So over here, I have a power bank, just a standard power bank, nothing too crazy, right? You can turn it on. This one's neat because it actually has the percentage it's at. So this is 100% charged at the moment. This light I am using is right now being powered by another one. It's currently at 93% charge. Um, and what you can do with this is you can take the USB cord, like this one. This is a USB, um, regular USB to USB-C. You can take the plug, um, make sure that the power bank is on. So I'm turning it back on. There's a button on this one. But I'm assuming it's going to work for anything. You can take this cord and just plug it into the USB-C on top of the battery. And on the back, you can see that it's taking in power from the power bank now. And it's charging this battery that's then also powering the camera. So I would imagine, even though I didn't do this, you could probably take a power supply that can charge USB-C and simply plug it directly into this and power it from the wall, keeping the battery fully charged and powering this. But if you need more power on site, this is 10 bucks. This is 6,000 milliamps, so really cheap to keep this powered. Um, you do have an additional out on this one, for example. This is an additional USB-C out, so you can charge from that port or output from that port. And then all the while it's staying in, you're getting power in. And also over here, the Nucleus is now losing its mind, apparently. Again, I don't know why that's happening. Uh, may invalidate me making this video at all. I unplug, plug it back in. Now it's fine. I don't know. It seems like it it's freaking out. I don't think it's anything to do with any of this, so I'm gonna ignore that problem at the moment. It seems to not like it whenever you plug it in for the first time. I'm gonna assume that's a secondary issue. Anyway, so you can be charging from a power bank, 
powering the camera, boosting this, and having more capacity than you normally would. Anyway, these batteries are neat. I will put a link to them in the description down below. Um, they're simple, they're great. I'm assuming you could split the power off in here and do other things or power a secondary monitor from here. I don't really care about that at the moment too much because obviously I have an iPad that's sitting right here. But basically that's how it works. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, post them down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.